Hello Ice and Fire Nerds, this is Chris and this is going to be a little Game of Thrones Season 7 predictions video, I guess. And let's talk about the wall, ice dragons, and magic. Is the wall going to come tumbling down in Season 7? And if so, how's it going to happen? Dracarys. Alright, let's talk about the wall. All in all, it's just a break in the wall. No, not that damn wall. The big ass ice wall up north. Anyway, a lot of people have speculated, including myself, that the wall will come down at some point. The question is, how is that going to happen? So let's talk about a couple theories on how that could happen. Now, one of the most common questions I get in Q and A's, as well as just comments in general and messages, etc., is, do I think there's going to be ice dragons in the story? The short answer is no. I don't think there's going to be ice dragons in the story, only because George R. R. Martin kind of had to be talked into fire dragons. So imagine this story right now without fire dragons, just Danny coming along with no dragons and she's just got her name. But the point being, imagine this story without fire dragons and how significant they are. So he had to be talked into that, so I don't think there's going to be an ice dragon. The reason I bring that up is a lot of people think that there's an ice dragon kind of hidden or frozen or asleep inside of the wall as part of its magical properties. Now we have the Horn of Jormund, the Horn of Winter, in the books at least. We may have seen it in the show. We're not really sure if that was it, the one found with the dragon glass at the Fist of the First Men. Sam apparently took that with him to the Citadel and we have not seen it since. So maybe that's one of the secrets he'll uncover in Season 7 is what the hell he's got in his own damn back pocket. So apparently when blown, it's supposed to wake giants from the earth and this is likely the same magic that the children used apparently to flood the Arm of Dorne when it used to be a land bridge connecting Dorne and Essos where the first men came across in the first place. But I think it's simply a metaphor for earthquakes. When that horn is blown, it causes earthquakes of some sort and that could be a very real reason why the wall comes down. Apparently though, that's actually been blown in the past by Jormund himself from the history in the books and nothing really happened, so we're really not sure what that means. But if it is real and it actually works by bringing the wall down, it may have been made by the children of the forest as kind of a safeguard because they did have the pact with men because they were at war with men, but then had the pact and and agreed to peace, built the wall, found the Night's Watch, etc. But that may have been a little safeguard just in case the Children of the Forest needed their nuclear option, being the Night King and the White Walkers. Now, as far as ice dragons go, I know a lot of people want to see that. I think it's really cool. I think John himself metaphorically could be an ice dragon because he is half Stark and half Targaryen slash dragon. So I think metaphorically he could be one. Now, of course, George R. R. Martin does have the book called The Ice Dragon, but I believe he stated in the past in an event, a fan event, I believe, or perhaps a Comic Con or something like that, that the ice dragon story was not in the same universe. Universe. Although I think it really could be. Think about the pools at Winterfell and the gods would. There's one in the book that always describes it as being cool to the touch no matter what time of year it is, no matter how hot it is up north during the summers. And a lot of people speculate that the way it went down in the books when the ice dragon died and perhaps that's where winter fell, therefore the name Winterfell. But the main reason I think there's not going to be an ice dragon in our story is because it really throws out the balance for me. So, for example, you have the Night King and all his whites as far as the ice side of the world. You have Danny and her dragons as far as the fire side of the world. So if you bring in an ice dragon, which is described as a lot larger than fire dragons, then you kind of throw out the balance of ice and fire as far as this big war for the dawn. So that's the main reason I don't think we're going to see an ice dragon in our story. Now before I get to my little final speculation on how I think the wall is going to come down, let's talk about really quickly, why can't the White Walkers just go around the damn thing? Well, I think there's something to do with salt water. So on one side you have East Watch by the sea and the Shivering Sea and the wall goes right up against it. And I think there's an issue with the White Walkers not being able to control water itself and more specifically salt water. We saw Hardhome, of course, in season five. John was rowing away and him and the Night King had the stare down. And you would think that if you wanted to kill him, he could have easily just just kind of froze in the water or whatever or threw fucking snowballs at him or something. So I think salt water is a problem for them. Otherwise, you'd think he would just freeze it over and walk right out there and kill whoever he wanted to. But basically, he let him escape. But I think he knows something about John. Obviously, he had a stare down. He kind of knew who he was. He was familiar to him probably because he was related to him because I do think the Night King is a Stark or was a proto-Stark, I should say. And on the other side, you basically have mountains. So why wouldn't they just be able to go through the mountains? But if you look at the map over here on the west side... You have West Watch, which is where the wall ends, and there's actually a river system that runs down from the north out of the Frost Fangs near Craster's Keep and all that called the Gorge that runs down to the west side of the wall into the Bay of Ice. So once again, salt water is blocking their way. So obviously there is magic in the wall, and of course in Season 6, when Benjen dropped Bran and Mirror off at the wall, he said, The wall's not just ice and stone. Ancient spells were carved into its foundations. 
Now, of course, some would go back to season one where we had the two Night's Watch members who were killed when Benjen disappeared, and they were brought back into Castle Black and then turned into Whites and attacked Lord Commander Mormont, and of course, that's how John burned his damn hand in the first place. But at the same time, in season four, when Bran finally arrived at Blood Raven's cave, we did see the magic at work when the Whites tried to chase him into the cave, so obviously the magic's still real and still working just fine. So my answer to that would be that the guys who were brought into Castle Black, at that point they were dead, the magic hadn't taken hold yet, so they hadn't turned, so they got through the wall, through the magical barrier, and then they turned, and therefore the magical barrier itself didn't affect the magic that reanimated their corpses. So let's say that the Night King could kill somebody and then throw them over the wall, I think they would still turn once they were past the barrier because they were dead while they were going over the barrier, or through it, or under it, or perhaps around it. Anyway, so let's get to it. So basically what I think is going to happen is we saw Bran get marked in Season 6. He was in a vision. The Night King saw him, which means he's connected to the same type of magic because he was created by the Children of the Forest. He is now marked, and of course that broke the spell on the cave. The Night King came up. He touched the ground. He did his little magic thing to test the barrier. It went all the way through inside the cave, so he knew that the spell was broken. So I think that's the dilemma Bran's going to be in in Season 7. He's going to be at the wall, and he's going to have to risk and decide, do I go through the wall and let the Night King come through the wall so I can get down south and get the right information to the right people like John, perhaps bring Danny into the fold, or do I just stay up here and possibly die and they figure out a way to get over it or around it anyway down the road. So Bran knows he's marked. Blood Raven told him the magic no longer works in the cave, so he knows it's going to happen if he passes the wall, but he's going to have to make that choice. If we know anything at all about the White Walkers, it seems that they're very, very patient. I do think in Season 7, the wall will come down probably in Episode 9 or 10. I think the majority of the season is going to concentrate on Danny coming into Westeros, Cersei is the Mad Queen versus Danny, and then Season 8 will primarily focus on the War for the Dawn, but I do think at the end of the season, that will be the big thing. The wall will come down due to Bran crossing the wall, ultimately making the choice that he will have to go south and get the right information to Jon, Danny, Sam, however that's going to go down, and the Night King will in fact be able to break the spell of the wall. It's going to come tumbling down, and that's going to be a damn sight to see. Poor Dolores said. Damn, he just had it rough the whole damn time. Anyway, guys, that's all I had. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is the wall coming down? How's it going to happen? And do you think there are ice dragons in the story? And as usual, thank you for all the support, you guys. I really, really appreciate it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like what I do here. If you want to see Smoke Screen continue to grow, be sure to share with your family and friends or people you think would like these type of videos. So again, guys, thanks for everything. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. One question I get quite often in my Q&A videos and in comments in general is, do I think there was going to be an... How does people know when I film? So let's talk about a couple theories on how that could happen, if it does at all. Now one... God almighty.